is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be breaking down some wwe elite action figure fix-ups that you may want to try or that you may want to consider on your agenda here today guys i got some pretty good stuff for us as you guys know the other day wwe.com did post up some brand new mattel wwe action figure reveals and you guys know that as soon as i see new figures what do i do brad i go to the drawing board and i go ahead and whip up some new action figures in my brain and i try to bring them to you guys and I do my best we're gonna do the same thing at SDCC you know we always kill it with the epic SDCC action figure videos where we're gonna break down the reveals we're gonna talk about my favorites from the reveals we're gonna break down ones that I'm super hyped for and we're gonna break down fix-ups that we can make using figures that already exist so I am super happy for SDCC cannot wait for it little bit uh, what is it like two weeks away or so I think it's not you know next weekend but the next weekend so it's it's coming right up on us man but before we get there guys we're going to break down some of the figures that we've already seen and we're going to talk about some fix-ups that you may want to do with those figures man so go ahead sit back relax and let's go ahead and dive into it so one of the first figures that we did get this week or, or whatever that we saw on wwe.com guys was the chelsea green basic figure yes the chelsea green basic figure is coming out you have the chase variant version and the regular version but i think that the only thing you can do as far as a fix-up for this and the only thing that really is coming to my brain like you have a few different options i guess you could say you guys can let me know what your favorite version is and what you want to do but this is just the one that comes to my brain and the first thing that comes to my to my head is switching this thing to an elite you know converting this into an elite figure and the only thing that really is popping in my brain is elite 85 Liv Morgan now the only thing that you're going to notice with this and you may be able to fix it if you switch the lower legs but she will be a little bit too short but what you may want to do is just uh, switch the lower legs with another character I don't know you know what the best situation for that is is, but I feel like the Liv Morgan figure is probably the best way to do that and if you guys wanted to try a different figure uh, I mean there's just not a lot that have great articulation you know what I mean so the I, I would recommend a newer elite you know ones with double jointed knees and ones that have good arm articulation like some of the last few elite waves and it can can you know it can get kind of tricky when you're trying to do that but maybe we can find some higher boots or something to do that with but I would say that Chelsea Green is a great uh, you know basic to elite conversion and that is the first figure I wanted to talk about and we move on from the chelsea green figure guys we're gonna get into elite series 87 here and we got some pretty good stuff here let's start off with braun Strowman, the new elite braun Strowman. i mean first of all this figure looks amazing as is but there are a lot of different fix-ups that you may want to consider right here so the first thing that i am considering you know it, we are getting the basic figure which you could just use as your head sculpt but if you're gonna pick up a few of these elites you know if you're gonna wait on it and you get a couple of elites in hand you know you want to go ahead and do your standard you know head swap if you want them to be in different gear you could take the bald head sculpt put it on your older Braun Strowman elite figures which would be great indeed or you could just get the basic like I said but another thing that I thought of is how about like we don't know what the tooling is going to be on these arms but what if we took these double jointed arms and we put those on our other Braun Strowman elites there's so many different elites you know you got the one that's shirtless with the cool pants and the tan boots and the, you know they are the longer style but I feel like that would be really sweet to see a shirtless Strowman with the old look uh, on the bottom and then having the double jointed arms again we don't know the tooling we don't know if the arms are even going to be swappable i pray to jesus that they are swappable so that you know it'll be nice and it'll be really terrific and it'll make for great fix-ups on surgery and stuff like that that we can cover we won't know until we get into surgery we won't know until we get the figures in hand and stuff but this is just the things that go through my mind so switching the arms switching the head and then something that even crossed my mind was what if you pop like braun Strowman figures are always on ball joints what if you pop the legs off of this new braun Strowman and you put on old legs legs so you know instead of the shorter boots that he has here that are like roman reigns you could pop on his older pants that have the tan boots or the green and tan boots so i think that would also be a very sick fix up indeed and we may do that on 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 surgery just because you know he's not on tv anymore so i can you know i can get creative with my braun Strowman elites now and so we'll, we'll play around with that on surgery when this figure comes out but i'm hoping that i'll be able to switch the arms onto my you know my vindication monster Strowman. and then the last fix up for braun guys is what if you you took these brown boots that come on the elite 87 and you put them on a roman reigns elite now i know we're getting the elite 88 roman but i feel like if you switch some parts and played around with some stuff you can make a really sick like promo gear roman with like some timberland boots on would that not be super fire so that's something that i thought about i wish we had the shield legs in different leg molds and it wasn't always solid black like if we had different colors of that it would be insanity and maybe one day that will happen but 
for now. Just doing the boot swap I think will be really cool and hopefully that'll be something that we can consider on action figure surgery. Now continuing on with Elite Series 87, man, getting into Apollo Crews. Now you guys know that Apollo Crews is the chase variant. He has the beautiful blue gear. He has the beautiful white gear and I love both figures. I think both figures look fantastic. You get the double jointed arms. His Elite 49 figure was really good so I know this one's going to be even better with the double jointed arm. Now with his most recent basic it was absolute god awful trash. So I'm definitely not going to be switching the head. His other head sculpt is too old. It, it doesn't have true effects. Even though it's a good head sculpt I just don't think I would like it compared to the true effects version. So I think the only thing that makes sense is what if you took these double jointed arms and put them on other elite figures that would look great. Now the only ones that really come to my mind are like Bobby Lashley, Big E, possibly a Kofi Kingston. I don't think Kofi Kingston will work. His arms are kind of skinny. And then you have, you know, the other Apollo Crews. If you wanted to switch these arms onto your older Apollo Crews, you could probably do that. And then I also thought of maybe a Shelton Benjamin. I know you'd be losing some tattoos, but wouldn't be the biggest deal. And then uh, Cedric Alexander, again, his arms probably would be too big at that point, and he's missing tattoos. But you could, you know, you could make things work. You could switch things around, but I think that Shelton Benjamin and Bobby Lashley would be really good choices for these arms on Apollo, and you could make your guys more articulated, and, and it would lead to great things. So that is something that I would possibly consider when getting this Apollo Crews to fix up other figures. Now, if we move it on, guys, Elite 87 Otis, another thing that stands out in my mind, same thing as Apollo Crews. These arms are only going to be used on certain characters and the only characters that really come to my mind is going to be Brock Lesnar. Now this is the same arm mold that they use for Brock Lesnar. It's not the same arm mold that they use for the Ultimate Edition which I found pretty interesting but you could use this on your older Ruthless Aggression Brock Lesnar's if you wanted to you know use your Ultimate Edition gauntlets on his gloves and then pop those off and pop those on the Otis arms. You could put these arms onto an Elite and then you know if it's, if it's a UFC style Elite Brock Lesnar you could could pop the Otis arms on there and then the Ultimate Edition hands in there and that would create, you know, kind of a makeshift Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar. Just some things to consider again. I love the Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition. Probably one of the best ones they've ever made. And that is something that popped into my head immediately. And you may be able to put these arms onto a Kane figure, you know, to give him the bigger biceps from the early 2000s. So that's another thing you may want to consider. And the last figure in Elite 87 that I want to get into, guys, is going to be Asuka. Now with Asuka, not that exciting for her, to be honest with you. I really like the red and black gear. But I think that a head swap on any of her other figures. So you guys know her first Elite, Second Elite, Network Spotlight. If you put this new Asuka head sculpt on one of those figures, I think it would really bring it together. And I'm really waiting on the Elite 87 Asuka because I hope it's uh, it feels a lot better in the hand than her other figures. A lot of her figures usually have like a loose torso problem, like upper torso. Hopefully that won't be the case here. But uh, Asuka's figure will look really good with a head swap. I think that head on other figures would look insane. So hopefully that will be the case. And my brother's one of the biggest Asuka fans you'll find. And he said that that's her best figure to date. So We'll have to see about that when we get it in hand and, you know, when we check out the review. I would expect Elite 87 to be hitting very, very soon, so hopefully that will be our case. But Asuka is the last figure in Elite 87 that I wanted to consider. Now, moving right along, guys, we're going to get into the new Legend series that we broke down. Now, getting into it first is this Roddy Piper. This Roddy Piper figure, immediately, what am I going to go to? I'm going to go to the head sculpt because I don't think this looks anything like Roddy Piper. I don't know what it is. A lot of people have told me I'm dumb. It does look like Roddy Piper. I'm not on that. I'm not on that wagon, Brad. It does not look good to me. I don't like it. Get it out of my face. So yes, that is what. Uh, yeah, that. Nah, I don't. I don't like it. We're getting rid of it. The um, it, like any of the head sculpts, literally any of them. The Legends figure, the Hall of Fame figure, the Entrance Greats figure, the two pack boxing set with Mr. T. Any of them. Any of them will work for me. I don't have a, a dog in the fight, Brad. I just want to switch this head sculpt, and we're probably gonna do that on surgery immediately. I don't know what figure I'm gonna swap it with because I feel like you know since the the box two pack is so rare and stuff like that and it's hard to come by i don't know if i want to switch it but i like the angry roddy head sculpt so we'll just have to see about that the entrance greats figure was so good for its time man what were we doing moving right along guys we also have billy gunn in this set now billy gunn in this set a lot of great uh, creative options for this speaking of the camo pants like you, there's so many things you can do with this like pick fed related you know if you're doing war games and you want all of your teams in that thing to have like camo pants you could throw like six billy gunn pants in there you know cover up all your teams 
You could pair that with some other parts and be really creative. Another thing you could do is switch it with his uh, his Hall of Champions figure. You could switch it with his first round of Elise. This head sculpt on this Legends figure is insanity. So I think if you put that head sculpt on any of your Billy Gunn figures, it would really stand out and it would make it look a ton better. So that's another thing that you consider. And that is something that I would do immediately. I don't even own a Billy Gun Elite, so I can't do that, unfortunately. But the creative aspect with the pants, yes. Anytime I see this figure at retail, I will grab it because I want the pants. I literally just want the pants, and then maybe I could swing some Dolph Ziggler fix-up customs with the formula that is this Billy Gun Elite figure. And then the last figure that I want to talk about in today's video, guys, is going to be the Elite Scott Hall. Yes, the one that we've already gotten. Now, I know you're going to be talking about the Nash figure. When making this video and doing some studying around, Round, I figured out that Kevin Nash doesn't have any good head sculpts. I feel like all of his head sculpts are just missing the mark. I know a lot of them are just, I don't know, they're just a little off. If anybody agrees with that, please let me know. I do think that the new Legends figurehead is probably the best one. It's definitely up there for the best one, maybe a top three. But overall, he doesn't have a ton of great head sculpts. It's very lackluster to say the least. But if we get back into Scott Hall, man, this, uh, this figure can be great for a lot of different reasons. You could head swap it with a lot of different head swaps for, you know, Scott Hall. He has the toothpick in the mouth head sculpt from the WrestleMania 35 Elite. You have the head sculpt that's come on other figures like the Elite 51 Scott Hall. You could take the shirt that's coming with this guy and put him on all your other Wolfpack members. So I'm sure that's why this guy will fly off shelves. If you could get a cloth NWO Wolfpack t-shirt and then throw it on all of your different members. You got the ring set exclusive Sting. You got other fix-ups you can make with this head sculpt. You can make street gear Scott Hall using, you know, different head sculpts and stuff. I mean, this, this figure has a lot of different options and you know, there, there's actually quite a bit Scott Hall slash Razor Ramon figures out there that you can kind of play around with and get the look that you want. But I think that the, you know, the toothpick head sculpt on this figure would look insane with the NWO shirt, you know, mixing up those heads, mixing up those parts with all the different Scott Halls. It could call for some really cool fix-ups and really stand out on a shelf, especially if you have, you know, all of your Wolfpack decked out in Wolfpack t-shirts. So that is pretty much all of the fix-ups that I could think of. I went through them, you know, you don't have a ton of options again. We didn't get like all the reveals ever, like Junkyard Dog wasn't a figure I could really pick on. Candice LeRae was another tough one I couldn't really play with. And another one is probably Santos Escobar. I tried to play with him a little bit. You know, you might be able to do a couple things here and there. Uh, I don't think he'll be on ball joints, but if he is on ball joints, you may be able to switch him into some black tights, possibly, if you switched him with, you know, Kalisto, or if you switched him with a Rey Mysterio, or something like that, maybe even an Andrade or Sin Cara. So that'll just depend on what that figure exactly has on the inner thighs there with the ball joints, or if he has the pinecone joints. And you could switch the boots possibly as well, but we do not know just yet. And then you have some of those basic figures like, you know, Dexter Loomis that you might could switch out and stuff like that. But I think that pretty much wraps up our video, man. If you guys enjoyed any of these fix-ups, if you have any of your own, please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it, and you guys can just let me know all of those things down there. And I would greatly appreciate it. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to Phantom Replays, or Replaz, who says, Legend says to this day, nobody knows how MDT crossed the line. And that would be true, Brad. That would absolutely be true. But I'll let you in on a secret right now, Brad. I'll actually tell you the secret of how I crossed the line. I actually was... You crossed the line, I've been beaten.